Part 1. White Clouds. Horsebow Moon. Rumors of a Reaper. As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlin welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flame has gone missing. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrig Mach. Flane is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but... There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. There is no way she could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. You have my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flane. The Knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. Flane has gone missing? Most unsettling. It doesn't seem likely that she's simply gotten lost. I'll help in any way that I can. So, our mission this month is to find her? Well then, let us hurry and locate her before anyone else. I hope Flame is okay. What would happen if... Just, what would we do if... <gasps> you can't think like that, Burn. Sedeth would have a heart attack if he heard you. I've heard that she has a crest. But I suppose for this moment that is irrelevant. We'll start by gathering information. Someone must have seen Flame recently. Right. If we work together, I'm certain we'll find her. It seems Flane is still missing. What could have happened to her? Everyone, hurry! I heard a scream coming from Professor Yuritsa's room! Yuritsa? Ah, the combat professor with the mask. He has always been rather suspicious. We must hurry. Professor Yuritsa? Are you there? He does not seem to be here. Hmm? On the ground! Professor Manuela! No, she's just unconscious. Someone clearly attacked her. Look at her hand. It looks as though she is pointing at something. There. There's an opening behind that shelf. Perhaps a secret passageway. What is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We know as much as you do. She needs to be taken to the infirmary. Yes, of course. And quickly, give me a hand, child. Understood. I'll support her head. Professor, I'll be back shortly. Please be careful. Does this mean Professor Yuritsa did it? Could he also have kidnapped Flane? We should start by investigating this passageway. Do you agree, Professor? Agreed. The culprit could be hiding inside. That settles it. We'll take the offensive. Here we come, you monsters! Shall we, Professor? I 
never would have imagined. Hmm? I see someone. They're unconscious. Yes. And there is someone else, too. It appears to be another student. Someone's coming. I recognize that siphon mask. It's that jerk we fought at the Holy Mausoleum. That sword. You must be. One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation. Our objective is to recover Flame. Let us hope we are not too late. Hmm. Something odd about the floor over there. What will happen if we step on it? Interesting apparatus. I wonder if we can operate it. So you have come. I'll make sure you never leave. Aye, aye. Much needed. Ever so great. That's my cue. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. As you wish. You should withdraw from here. I don't take orders from you. Great pain awaits you. Put me in there! I have no need of you. You require aid? Think this will work? I will get the victory. Shall I help? I created a plan. I am greater now. Find their weakness. Stay focused. Now you will die together. Our joys. I'm clearly needed. It's time. Always getting stronger. Kill them. Halt, you're having a bit too much fun. You are getting in the way of my game. Huh. You'll have more opportunities to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. Flame Emperor? Rather worrisome that he sounds intent on showing up again. 
Are they both okay? We should get them out of here. The enemy is withdrawn. Let's carry them up. They're pale and their pulses are slow. Still, I don't believe their lives are in danger. You found Flame? Where? You missed the most important part of the mission. We found her within that secret passage. The culprits were the Death Knight and... What was his name? Ah, the Flame Emperor. Sadly, they got away. All that matters is Flame's safety. Right, Professor? We will take these two to the infirmary. Professor, please inform Sedith. Whatever the circumstance, I'm glad Flane is safe. Though I'm curious to find out who that other girl is. Huh? Professor? Is that... a smile? <laughs> you look... happy. I don't think I've ever seen you like this before. Anyhow, we should hurry to Sedith. He must be beside himself by now. Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. Yes, of course. I shall express my gratitude to the students as well. Her kidnapper was the Masked Knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth, the one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flame's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare, and extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flame's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flame, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? I'm so glad that Flame is safe, yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy, but who is she? Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. 
It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her in the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. Sorry, but I've got my own mission, and it's far from Grander Field. The Church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf, I'm going to leave something for you. Don't get me wrong, I have no intention of dying. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> well, I'll be. Was that a smile just now? <laughs>